Well, hello, everybody, and welcome into today's edition of One Nation Weather. We're talking about a triple threat going on as we go into your day tomorrow here. We have snow going on in the northern tier and back into the mountain west. We'll have a severe weather risk that's going to go from portions of the Arquitex all the way into Missouri and Illinois, and we'll also have an ice threat kind of in between the severe and the snow. So it's the evening of Tuesday, February 21st. I hope it's going well for you here. And as I give you a look at your severe weather risk, might not be going well if you get some of these mainly gusty wind threat to move through your area. 60 to 70 miles per hour possible in some of these storms. The Storm Prediction Center really has shifted this risk around a good deal of times. First, it was into the Arklatex of northern, Miss uh, excuse me, Louisiana and western Mississippi. Now Arkansas is nearly taken out of this. Little Rock basically safe almost with this, for now it looks like anyway. And it looks like that level 2 threat is going to come out of eastern Oklahoma all the way up into western Illinois with this. Again, the gusty wind threat is the primary threat, but a tornado is possible with some isolated hail, maybe up to about an inch, inch and a half in diameter mixing in here as well. So let's go ahead and bring things up. The blue is where you're watching for snow. The pink's where you're watching for ice. The red is where you're looking for severe. And you can see here, snow's going to be working its way up into portions of the northern zone here as we go into your early morning hours of your Wednesday. But notice we get some rain to get going. And look at the severe weather that gets going back here into portions of western Arkansas. As this gets moving to the north, it's basically going to feel that ice threat that's going on in southern Michigan, portions of New York, all the way back over to Iowa. That zone right there is where temperatures are going to be borderline. Where these thunderstorms are going on, we're going to have 60s, 70s, warm temperatures going on there. And as that warmer air goes up, it's going to meet up and in that kind of in that battleground zone, that's where we'll have that ice. And on the northern side, you could see pretty heavy snow going on as we go into the overnight hours of your Wednesday night into Thursday. Still going strong, we'll kind of have a secondary batch of some snow get going and maybe some ice can be mixed in with that as well. No severe weather risk with the second little batch that'll get going into the midday period on your Thursday here. Here's a look at the temperatures as we go to 8 p.m. Wednesday. I think this is something really to keep an eye on for you here. You can see temperatures in this zone. I'm going to turn on my laser pointer to give you a look. In this zone right here, 32, 32, 32, all the way over here to 32 and 33 and 31. This zone is that borderline zone because look at this warmer air coming out of the of the Ohio Valley area here and coming out of the central tier. We'll have a good deal of 60s in that area. And I mean, we have a 53 right here and we've got a 42 and a 36 just north of it. So in these zones, we're going to have that battleground and it'll be turning from rain over to, excuse me, snow over to ice and maybe even over to rain eventually in some of these locations. Again, winds with the system, as you can see, it is going to be quite blustery out there. Sustained up to 40 miles per hour from the southwest and New Mexico area, the Four Corners region there. Sustained up to 30 miles per hour in the north and warm gusty winds this week. Here's a look at the credits. Thank you so much for giving a look at this forecast from One Nation Weather.